Here's your hint for number six. So when we do this problem, it's another elastic problem, which means we're going to be solving this similar to that Rutherford gold foil experiment we did in number two. So here, we're going to set up our momentum conservation. We're going to set up our elastic conservation of kinetic energy. Um, the trick for this one is, if we want to know the total mass in terms of the first mass, we call that particle coming in having a mass m, and the particle it's hitting having a mass x times n, and we're really solving for that x. Now here's the thing that happens. When we call this one x times m, you'll notice that all of my terms have an m in it, which cancels out. Same thing happens down here. All of those m's cancel out, and so we're really stuck solving for that x value. And again, if you want to see more in depth on how to set these up, um, basically you solve for one unknown, substitute in, put it in solver. If you want to see that more in depth, go ahead and look at the elastic collisions video. Uh, it's in the instructional videos or in the link in the description.